Mitral valve orifice is normally about 5 cm square, but symptoms appear when it reduced to 1 to 2 cm square. In mitral stenosis, the flow of blood from left atrium to left ventricle restricted and left atrial pressure rises, leading pulmonary venous congestion. Left atrium become dilated and lead to atrial fibrillation. When atrial pressure rises more gradually it tends to cause pulmonary hypertension that lead to right ventricular hypertrophy and dilatation. Fun causes include rheumatic heart disease, congenital defect and senile degeneration. Effort-related breathlessness is frequently the dominant symptom. Other symptoms include fatigue, edema, hemoptysis, palpitations, thrombolic complications, cough and chest pain. Signs include atrial fibrillations, mitral facies, crepitations, pulmonary edema and effusion due to raised pulmonary capillary pressure. When atrial pressure rises, the forces that open and close mitral valve increases, results in loud first heart sound and tapping apex beat. When stenosis become more severe an opening snap may be audible and move close to second heart sound. Turbulent flow produces the characteristic low-pitched, mid-diastolic murmur and sometimes a thrill. Roll patient towards left and put stethoscope on apex, you can hear this type of sound. Investigations includes ECG may show atrial fibrillation, bifid P waves and right ventricular hypertrophy. Chest X-ray may show enlarged left artium. Echo shows thickened immobile cusp and reduced valve area. Color Doppler provides definitive evaluation of mitral stenosis and also show increased pulmonary artery pressure. Cardiac catheterization used to assess coexisting condition. Patient with minor symptoms should treat medically. Anticoagulation to reduce risk of embolism and ventricular rate control by digoxin, beta blocker and rate limiting calcium channel blocker. Pulmonary congestion is controlled by diuretics. Antibiotics provide prophylaxis against infective endocarditis. Surgical intervention should be considered when patient remains symptomatic despite medical therapy. Mitral balloon valvuloplasty is the treatment of choice, although mitral valvotomy is an acceptable alternative. Thanks for watching. For more videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel OAS Design. If you like this video please share with your friends and give us your feedback. Thanks.